All right, guys, we uh, we've got Coach McElwain. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll open it up uh, with an opening statement, and then we'll, we'll go to your questions. So, Coach, it's yours. All right. Hey, guys. You doing all right? Um, you know, first off, uh, you know, just going into this game, you can't help but kind of think, you know, about, <clears throat> you know, the people down in Louisiana and what they're going through, you know, with the storms, uh, you know, the power outages, the rain, um, you know, our thoughts are with them. And, and then obviously, um, you know, I can't imagine how tough it is, um, you know, Coach Falk losing his daughter um, recently is, is uh, you know, our hearts just ache for him because I, I know how um, tight our family is here with each other and just how hard that'd be. But, uh, you know, our thoughts are with those people and, and what they're going through and and we're uh, getting ready to go down there and play a ball game. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, the atmosphere is like no other. It, it, is, it is a great place to play. And the fans are great. Um, so it'll be a really good experience for our football team and, and, and our program to be able to go and, you know, play, and play at such a historical venue and and uh and we're looking you know it's great for them to get that opportunity to go play so um updates on us uh injury wise uh really nothing has changed much uh Matowski um you know is is I would say doubtful rather than questionable um we'll kind of see where and how he bounces around today or if he's able to bounce around but he'll he'll miss another game, um, and really, you know, other than that, um, that's really any of the major stuff. We did have a couple guys finish, um, you know, their vaccines uh, on Sunday. Um, that are still feeling the effects of that Sunday and Monday, um, but should be should be okay to go. So, um, but that's really where we're at. Uh, from an injury update, um, again, you know, thoughts with all the people down there and what they're going through. And, and obviously, um, you know, coach, coach Falk and, 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 um, uh, you know, what's happening within their program as well. But, uh, questions. All right. We'll, uh, we'll start with Jason. Hey coach. Um, Obviously, this is your second SEC opponent in three weeks. What do you feel like the guys learned from playing against Missouri two weeks ago, going on the road in that kind of environment, and being able to, you know, hang with them and push them right there till the end? Well, I think, you know, I mean, it's, it's like I said, I think it's all about, you know, opportunities and experiences. I, I you know, I think, um, you know, both those schools uh, allowing us to come in and play and, and, uh, you know, I think, you know, our guys, you know, hopefully won't go in with big eyes, you know, and, and uh, uh, kind of, you know, been there, done that kind of thing I, I would hope would happen. And yet, you know, when you get into places like this, I mean, it's natural. I mean, you, you, you don't see these places in the Mid-American Conference like this. And and obviously the great players that they have and, and um, you know, how well they're coached, I think, Coach O does an outstanding job. I'm I'm a huge fan of Coach O. I think um, what he does for those players and and how he handles things, I think uh, you know is 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 really really good. In uh, but you know we we've gotten that first one out of our system, and yet um, believe me when I tell you this. Uh, the difference between playing at Missouri and playing at, um, at LSU and Death Valley at night, um, quite a bit different. All right, let's go to Mitch. Hey, Coach. Uh, 
you kind of mentioned Death Valley is kind of a different beast in itself. I know you hit on a little bit, but what is it about that stadium in particular yeah. that makes it so daunting for teams to play at? Yeah, no, I mean, well, starts with uh, the fans. I mean, the fans are great. I mean, they they are rabid about you know their home team and and um, they make it um, something special um, and. And they don't cut you any slack when you go in there. I'll tell you that. And uh, um, and yet, you know, that's what makes college football so great. Uh, you know, the stadium itself, obviously, they're right right there on top of you. There's there's no hiding. And uh, uh, and and I think part of it too, they're really football smart. I mean, they 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 really understand the game of football, and they understand how to help their Bengal Tigers uh, in in situations and and uh, I think that has maybe something to do with it as well. All right, let's go to Sneds. I um, hey Jim, you know, um, everybody played last week. Um, you 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 played well. You moved the ball. You pitched a shutout. Um, I've always heard that um, you know from coaches that it's always a good week of practice after a game like that. Uh, because everybody's excited, they got a chance to play, and everything like that. Um, how do you take advantage of that with this group? I mean, in terms of you know building off of that, and I, I know, you know, Robert Morris is not LSU, and you know, whatever. But yeah. the point is, you know, that was a good week for you, and now you move forward. But how do you build off that, Jim? Well, I think when you look at even the progression of our program, you know, I, I'm not sure we've been able to do that against anybody. You know, where, you know, all those kids have put so much time in, you know, that to the program and, and uh, helping the Chippewas to give them an opportunity to actually get out there and play. I, I'm not sure I know of a game that we've had since we've been here. We've been able to do that. So, you know, I look at that as the progress of the program as well, um, which is a good thing. And uh, those kids deserve to get in there. And, and it was great. Uh, to see some of the older guys and some of the guys that are playing get excited for those guys to be able to to play. I, I thought that was great on the sideline. So it says a lot about our team. Um, but, you know, moving forward, um, you know, there's a lot. This, this is a lot, lot bigger task uh, uh, from what we've got, you know, staring at us this week. Um, and yet, you know what, you gotta, you gotta relish in those opportunities and, and relish the moments and, and, uh, really go enjoy it. You know, we've got to be able to give them some things to think about. Um, you know, we can't just go in and do the things that we've done on film because they're very, very well coached and they'll know how to attack it. So for us, giving them some different looks offensively and defensively and in the special teams, um, you know, you, you, you want to, you know, make them have to sit there and make some adjustments. And that's something we've got to do a good job of this week. Adam. Coach, I want to go back to the atmosphere. And uh, I know you have a Florida, Alabama atmosphere slant here. But uh, can you give us any type of ranking on, on where LSU stacks up in the rest of the SEC and uh, in environment wise and going into play there? Uh, I'd have to say anywhere in the country, you know, not just the SEC. It's uh, there's great stadiums, great environments all through uh, the SEC. Um, now this is a place, like I said, I think that's it's pretty special, and those fans, I think, are the ones that do it. Um, you know, like I said, they're they're, they're their football IQ and understanding the game. And then you couple that with um, their passion and their care about, you know, their Bengal Tigers is something that makes it um, really a neat thing to be a part of. And uh, like I said, I, 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 it'll be, it'll be something that, that our kids will be able to talk about for a long time. Uh, you know, what they're about to go into. All right, what else we got, got for Mac? Mitch? 
So I don't think you mentioned much about LSU in the past 15 years of the DBs they produced, but they got a good one right now in Derek Stigley Jr., yeah. deep at quarterback, your deep at wide out. What, what are you trying D-line. to do with the plan? Deep, yeah, deep at <laughs> deep, right? That, that, that's called great recruiting. And, uh, it is. And, um, you know, I think for us, um, you know, when you go in, you, you try not to – you know, let some of those guys just control the game. You know, I mean, obviously you got to be aware of where they're at. Um, and, you know, you, you got to be able to keep things in front of you defensively, right? And and not not just let them run by and go score. And, um, you know, on, on offense, you know, for us, um, again, giving them some things that, you know, that maybe they haven't seen that, that, you know, forces them to, you know, really do some chalking on the sideline, that kind of thing, and and maybe just try to slow it down just a little bit. But uh, it's hard to slow down these guys because they run really fast. All right, Jason. Through the first two weeks, the most staggering stat that I saw is that you guys haven't allowed have only allowed teams to convert on third down less than 10% of the times. How much pride do you take in that? And obviously how important and how much have you been stressing to continue that going into this weekend against such a good team? Sure. Um, you know, that was one of the things we talked about in the preseason and even with you guys. Uh, you know, we weren't really good on either side of the ball on on third down, especially in some of the third and long situations defensively that, that we gave up that cost us a couple ball games. But uh, so, you know, Point of emphasis in your off-season study. Um, you know, one of the things we've we've tried to do, really, even on the defensive side of the ball, is yeah, it's about scheme and that kind of thing. But you know, allowing some of our playmakers, put them in position to be able to make some plays, um, and you know, try not to expose you know uh, some of the some of the flaws. And you know, I think. Um, we've done a much better job of, and we got to continue to really change up the looks and, and, uh, you know, so somebody can't get a beat on you, you know, that, 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 I think that we've done a pretty decent job of. All right. Sneds. <clears throat> Mac, I'm working on a piece on uh, the veterans in your secondary at the, at the safety spot. So Reed and Kresge specifically. Yeah. I know you didn't recruit those guys. It seems like they've been here for a long time, uh, and in a sense they have. But can you talk about how important, um, you know, they have been in their roles? I mean, to get those kind of veteran guys um, in that spot, which is, you know, I think sometimes gets overlooked how important that safety spot is or, or you know, the secondary is, especially with the veterans back there. But, you know, your take on them um, and as a coach, how important that is, to you and the staff to have that kind of, you know, stability or that kind of leadership back there with those three. Yeah, no, it's, it's invaluable. And, you know, those three guys, uh, you know, none of them played very much when we got here. And, uh, you know, I think they really stepped up and, uh, and not only from, like, the communication, you know, from the back end forward, I think they've taken really – pride in that and they've taken the study your opponents to a new level which then brings confidence to the people around them um, and you know their their ability to get us into the right checks based on some things that happen and then you know getting that transferred uh, from the back end to the front end is um, I love to see the way that they kind of play together and I think they kind of know each other's game when they're in there, which allows them, you know, to kind of, hey, I kind of know Zoe's going to do this. Let me make sure I'm here. You know, that, you know, those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure glad that they, uh, that they chose to be here. Obviously, um, their experience is invaluable. All right, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here and, uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you both for your time. Appreciate Thanks, it. guys.